Hi guys, welcome to this quick review about this container distribution emergency bucket toilet seat made in US. It's a pretty cheap one available on Amazon and there is as made in the US so we cannot complain. Uh, it says container distribution. I don't know if this is the brand or just the seller. So anyway, here is how it looks. This is what you get. You get just a part where you sit on it and then the lid to close. And the description says fits most three, 3.5, 5, 6 and 7 gallon bucket. But when you read the small print, it says uh, it's only fitting for containers or like buckets with a diameter of about 11.89 inches and that's the really really important thing so it is not as flexible as you might think at the beginning i mean i'm not complaining it's not very expensive but you have to know what you buy so i'm going to show you how you would use that i mean i'm not using this in real life but i'm just showing you how to apply the thing you can see this about a standard size bucket i think this is the one from home depot yeah, here we can even see the sign so this is uh, i would say the standard bucket which most people are using five gallons bucket from home depot yeah it's a not a total new one it's a little bit already an oval and you can see the widest diameter is outside uh, about 12 inches inside it's 11.7 here it's a little bit smaller so i go with the larger diameter so now let's see how it fits we just put it on top and then push it down So as you have seen this this was quite tough i mean it's not impossible yeah the bad thing is it's quite tough to apply it's not something which you want to remove and reapply after doing your business every time but the good thing it's really tight you can see that here it's not going uh, to be removed you can really even uh, lift it with one hand here absolutely no problem so it looks like it's super tight it's doing its job what you have to be aware of that that it's definitely not a large one but i mean it has to fit on such a bucket if you are not sure if this is the size which you want to buy then just sit on your bucket and try to figure out it's really not much larger than such a bucket and this is pretty small i've also made a picture to compare this with a normal toilet seat and you can see how small this really is in real life for average person slim person it could fit but you really have to adapt, uh, especially that it fits uh, like for the front and the rear at the same time. That's probably to, to be the biggest challenge here. Uh, I can tell you that's not going to be uh, very easy. It's not impossible, but you have to be uh, aware of that. It's really small. And then I think how to use, I mean, I have already bought such a bag. This is a compostable bag and you can see we can put it on top of it easily that's a standard eight gallon bag and i would use it to uh, like this just put it on top not on the knees it would uh, first thing it would probably destroy the bag because they are usually very thin and second thing it's really difficult to remove and reapply so what I'm planning to do is like this and then you can remove it after that. So it looks like it fits really nicely to this 8 gallon uh, compostable toilet bags. By the way, if you really have to remove it, there's a trick uh, which I found which is the easiest to remove it. Just close the lid and then pull here. That's the easiest thing. Of course, it's a little bit difficult to do that uh, behind the camera. Yeah, I think I try this like that. So it can also be a good idea to put the handle down where you have the back also of this seat. So at the worst case you can pull down here and then pull up here on this side. This could definitely help. I'm trying this here like that. 
Okay, that worked. For me, yeah, definitely not the perfect solution, but for the price and for my needs. I mean, I'm planning to have something like a backup in case for a longer power outage or something like that. If switch is not working, I think that's uh, still a really good solution, really good compromise. So I would say as long as the size fits for you, I can give you a full recommendation on that. And so I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about your things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.